Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video we are going to talk about the directory structure in Linux. Here in Linux we have a main directory or, or main on the starting point from where all the directories will will belong to it and it is called root this root is uh, represented by a slash which is this one in, at the top of the hierarchy here and uh, below it we will find all the the directories which are part of the the linux system in this case we can have slash bin where all the binaries will be stored let's say all the commands that you are using uh, cd ls sed etc all of these commands will will reside here along with the with the system commands as well also we have slash etc this is a very important directory because it will store all the the configuration files and the startup scripts for the system itself so this is a very important uh, directory also we will find slash home this is uh, where all the the data from the user will be stored here it will be created a new directory for each new user in the system and inside of it uh, each user will have their dex desktop or downloads my documents or any any other directory that belongs to that user also we have slash opt where all the the applications will be installed and all the necessary files for that application will reside here we can have slash tmp for temporary files that can be destroyed very often so it is a good recommendation not to save any important thing here uh, we can have also slash u as error so here all the the files for the users that can be shared will be will be located here we can have a uh, slash bar for all the the files that can be variable those files can be changing very often because they will belong let's say to an application that will be updating or removing very often but those belongs to the to the application itself okay let's take a look on my directory structure in my local machine at this moment i'm going to print my working directory by using pwd and as you can see i'm located at the root of my system which is represented by slash as I mentioned this is the the starting point for all all of the directories in the system I'm going to list what I can see here we can have uh, some of the directories that I just mentioned from the image but we can also find another ones because it will depend from any distribution to any distribution in Linux it can vary a little bit uh, let's say we, we have here a uh, lib or lib64 these these two directories will contain all the necessary libraries to, for the system to run so this is an example also we have sbin for the system binaries which is another important directory here let me clear my screen and okay uh let me go to my home to to make some examples about the relative and absolute paths here which is the main topic in this video okay i'm going to go to the desktop then scripts okay well i'm right now at home slash ugo9995 slash well let's say escritorio which is desktop and slash scripts this is my current path here so i'm going to create 
a new directory example let me list what is here so we can see a directory also we can see a script for for a previous video but i want to show you some special directories or files let's say uh, which are hidden at the moment and to to display all the hidden the files or directories we need to use the command ls and the option a this one this one is the 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 responsible to show me these two directories these directories uh, are default in every other directory that is created by the user as I just did here, I created example. If I go there and I try to list the hidden directories, you can see this dot and double dot uh, directories are there because those are created by default. So what those directories mean? This one, the directory dot, it will represent the current directory or the current path where I am. So dot, it will represent this entire path. And dot dot, it will represent the previous directory, this one. So let's say that I want to go back to scripts. How can I do that? So I just type in cd to change directory then dot dot just hit enter and where i am right now oh i'm in scripts which is the expected behavior as dot dot means the previous directory so i'm going to go back again right now i'm to the desktop okay so what is an absolute path in linux an absolute path is a representation from the slash or from the root to the path to the to the directory where I'm supposed to be. So let's say I'm going to need to move myself to the directory example that I just created. So how can I do that by by using the absolute path? So I need to start changing directory to the the, uh, to the slash which is the root then I need to type in the entire path here which is this then scripts then sample this one this path is an absolute path because I'm using the entire the entire path from the root which is this one okay let me go back to desktop and what's the difference between the absolute path that we you just used to the to the relative path so the relative path it will start from my current location my current location is this one so let's say i'm going to go also to the example directory then I'm not going to type the slash because this will mean that uh, I, I wanted to use the root, but this is not the case. So I'm going to get into scripts directory and then the example directory. This is a relative path from my current location. And this is how you can use it. You can also, let's say, go back to the previous and using a relative path as well by using the special directory that I just mentioned. So I can go back to the to the to the desktop, which is the escritorio here. This means go back one level, then get into a different directory. I don't know. Let's see images. Okay, this is another way to use relative paths by using the special directories dot and double dot. Okay, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channel to get notifications about new videos. 
and you can suggest another topics. Stay tuned. Thanks.